it's the most wonderful time of the year welcome back to the fourth annual ocd video game awards buckle up bitch who will snatch the crown welcome back guys i am so happy to be here and talking about my favorite video games of 2019 welcome back guys today it is time that time of year ocd video game awards guys this is a completely biased game award show okay this is based only on the games i played on my channel this year this is not based on any research this is based solely on what i played on my channel this year please do not read me for filth please do not send me no hate this is what i played and what i liked guys now let's get to it i love days gone but they pulled some tricks on us while we were playing the game spoilers alert a spoiler alert for everyone i'm gonna be talking about it. all the the games and all spoilers spoiler alert we thought sarah had died in the apocalypse in bend oregon we thought that she had died and that deacon would never see her again and then she was revealed later on the, the last the last quarter of the game and boy were we happy to see her i was so happy to see her the bitch that's sarah does this look like fabric softener oh she's alive no, i can't do i can't breathe unit He's got some experience. I on knew the it. Ship. She's alive. Oh my God, girl. Sarah. And not only did they fool us once with this, they fooled us twice because we thought our main man booze was dead and gone and made the ultimate sacrifice for the mongrels. He came back, saved the whole crew, and our booze man is with us. And thank our booze man you lived because Jim Perry, we couldn't go on without you. We need you in the sequel. No, Booze, don't you dare die. Don't you dare. Go. Get your lady. No! Booze, no! jumped <laughs> no, what the fuck? just You're before i ran out of bridge i saw yeah. the truck no 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 i felt the blast wave even under 10 feet of water now that was a ride <laughs> oh my god i'm so happy he's alive okay now this is a new award obviously now you know i had been looking forward to playing days gone from the day it was announced from day one bitch i was there now not only was i there waiting anxiously the good people at Ben's studio were there as well. This award goes out to everyone at Ben's studio. John Garvin, Jeff Ross, Eric Jensen, everybody. I'm, I'm not naming everybody because there's too many. David Lee, the community manager. Guys, they are one of the most community-friendly game dev companies out there. I mean, they are always out in these streets, out on Twitter, supporting us in the community giving us all the love, giving all the love we give them right back. They interact with us, they share their joy with us. You sharing our joy with us means the world to all of us in the community. All of us mongrels appreciate you so much. So I wanna say thank you to everyone at Ben Studios from the top to the bottom, everybody. We love you and we appreciate all the support you give this community. You're keeping us strong until the sequel. Thanks so much for being so supportive of us little people. We appreciate you so much. Mongrels for life. Why, God? Why? The saddest moment in a video game this year had got to be Arthur Morgan's death in Red Dead Redemption 2. That finale was so heartbreaking, ripped my heart out. I literally, first of all, that reaction video to the, for the finale for that game is my highest watched videos, like 73,000 views. I never thought I'd have that many views on any of my videos, but that video tore my heart out. That scene cut my heart out. The scene with, with with Arthur dying on the mountaintop and Miss Pickles, oh my God, Miss Pickles, R.I.P. R.I.P. Girl. He had the tuberculosis diagnosis and he left us way too soon. Arthur Morgan, we salute you and we miss you. R.I.P. Miss Pickles. When was that shot? Miss Pickles. Miss Pickles. Come 
on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. We've been through so much together. Push, Arthur. Thank you. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Let's go. Oh, he gave us a It would mean a lot to me. Ain't no more time for talk. Okay, now, I am recording this the day of the gaming awards, so I haven't seen it yet. My most anticipated game of 2020 is going to be The Last of Us Part Two. No surprise there. You know that that is my most beloved game of all time and Brutal Legend back there. Brutal Legend always will have my heart, but The Last of Us, I have played that game hundreds and hundreds of times, start to finish. I'm not even joking. I know every inch of that game. I love these characters. I love this world, and I can't wait to get my hands on it and play. I'm gonna be terrified though, bitch. Oh, look at my Ellie. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my God, look at this, it's beautiful. Is that Joel? What the hell are you doing here? Yeah! You think I'd let you do this on your own? So 21, 20! For the players. <laughs> Fight mode activated. Shady bitch award. Get ready to be petty. How dare you, bitch. Now, I want to talk quickly about the disrespect, the anger in the days gone Mongol community when we found out. I know I can speak for all of us, and I will, that we were devastated. Devastated when we found out Days Gone and Ben Studio was not nominated, weren't nominated for not one award complete and total shutout at the Game Awards. Now, this is no hate to Jeff Keighley, no hate to any of all the industry people. I don't want nobody sending them no hate because I'm not sending them no hate. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I just think their opinion is very wrong, bitch. <laughs> I actually watched the award announcements twice because I'm like, oh, there's no way. Oh no, there's no way that Days Gone was not nominated for any awards. And bitch, they were snubbed. They were robbed, and I'm here to say, we're not having it. How dare you, bitch. Me and Deke are ready to watch these awards, y'all. You forgot someone this year. Deke and I are representing for Ben Studio tonight, watching these awards being petty as fuck, bitch. Being petty as fuck, bitch. <laughs> I'm wishing you all the best. This is all in good fun, guys. I love y'all so much. But I love Deacon more. <laughs> I love Days Gone more, bitch, and you know it. <laughs> Days Gone was robbed, the snubbery, the snatchery, and the fuckery of it all, bitch. Mongrels for life. Oh, Savage Kill. Oh my god. Now, Life is Strange 2, I just finished it last week on my channel, and it was a little slow going in the middle, but oh my god, what a great story. What an amazing game. I enjoyed playing it. I'm so glad I stuck with it and kept playing it because that finale was everything. I did my alternate ending reaction for it. It was everything. I love the Life is Strange Part 2, but, but the most savage kill goes to that game because our dear, beloved, Mushroom the puppy was savagely killed by that mountain lion. Mushroom the dog versus the mountain lion. Horrific, horrible. <laughs> I am still not over it. I am still mad about it. I ain't never gonna let it go. R.I.P. Mushroom. Ooh. Daniel? <gasps> no! Daniel, do not. Oh! I hate you, game. I hate you so hard right now. Goodbye, Mushroom. Goodbye! Such a puppy. <laughs> I'll always remember. Fuck that mountain lion. <laughs> Fuck that mountain lion, bitch. Now, you know Days Gone. I live for Days Gone. And I love Days Gone. But when I saw Jack, Puppy Jack, when he came out from hiding and jumped into Deacon's arms, I was done. That scene was too much for me to handle. It was the cutest thing I ever did see. I live for that scene and that moment. Give us more dogs in video games. Please don't make us kill them. Please don't let them die. I love Puppy Jack. 
Hey, buddy. Hello. Oh my god, he's so cute! He's so cute! Come here. Stop. Hey, buddy. Hello. Oh my god, he's so cute! Come here, buddy. Oh my god, he's so hey. cute! Hello. Oh my god, my horn! Oh my god, right, it's so here. cute. Oh, oh I got okay, the baby. Okay. Oh, my heart. Alright, alright, all right. It's fine. Oh my god. H have it your way. Please don't let anything happen to this dog. I will die. Okay. Oh, he's the cutest. I can't say. This is the best mission ever. <laughs> best game ever. You had me at find a puppy. <laughs> now, I have many collector's editions. As you can see on the Wall of Fame, might be blocked a little bit. I have God of War, I have Nathan Drake, I have Deacon St. John, Days Gone, I have many memorabilia and merch from video games that I love. But the extra award goes to Hideo Kojima and Kojima Productions for their collector's edition for Death Stranding, which included BB in the BB pod and it included a whole carrying case, packing tape, it was everything. I live for that level of extra. The extra AF award for the swag, bitch. You look at this, it needs its own chair. We're gonna unbox this monstrosity. Bitch is glorious. Oh my God, look at this case. For the piece de resistance. Oh, oh, okay. Guys, it's huge. Look at my baby. Look at my beautiful baby. Oh my God. We're gonna put baby back to sleep. She's gonna go night nights. <laughs> Games we thought we were coming out in 2019, but did not. They are MIA, they are missing in action. One that I have been waiting for to come out for a long ass time. Psychonauts 2 from Double Fine. They've been working on it for a long ass time and we know it's going to be everything. They never disappoint. So shout out to Double Fine. We love you and we support you, but give us those games, please. Come back home in 2020. We want to play you. <laughs> oh my God, it's so stunning and trippy. I love it. Only kids we <laughs> It looks beautiful, guys. Oh my God. This is insane. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of the Teeth, more teeth. I'm about it and I am all about it. I can't wait to play it on my channel. I wish we had a release date. I don't see a release date here. I don't think there is one. I'm hoping it's coming out this year. <laughs> okay, the most egregious, the most disgusting, the most ill moment of gaming in this year, without a doubt, goes to A Plague Tale Innocence. Now, we knew they were coming with the savagery, bitch. We knew they were coming with the horror. We knew they were coming with the rats, the swarm. And they did not disappoint. They came for our throats in that game. And they came for everybody else's bones, scalp, arms, legs. They came for everything. They took everything, bitch. They took everything, bitch. The rats. Ugh. Oh my God. It's a tidal wave. Tidal motherfucking wave tsunami. Rat Sami. <laughs> They have rat natos and rat tsunamis. This next award also goes to a Plague Tale Innocence because that last boss fight, I'm just gonna insert the clip here because it had me going through the gigs. I thought I was never gonna beat that bitch. I thought I was never gonna finish the game. I almost rage quit. That's how bad it was. And by bad, I mean challenging. Not bad. I love the game. I live for a Plague Tale Innocence. I was dying to play it. So when that boss fight came, I totally underestimated the ferocity of Vitalis at the ending. I can't, I couldn't even, I almost didn't. <laughs> Roll the clip. No, I'm running, I'm running. No, no, don't kill me now, I'm so close. Oh my God. No. Jesus Christ! Oh, you dirty f- No, you dirty bitch! I'm gonna fucking die again.
this award for most addicting game this year has got to go to my beloved Rad. I love this game. I loved Rad so much. I was terrible at it, but no bother. I didn't, it didn't matter how bad I was at it. It was so much fun to play every run. As soon as it was over, I'm like, oh, I gotta play again. Like I didn't want to stop playing. It was so addicting, so much fun to play. I live for that game. I live for that post post apocalyptic realness, that 80s music, that synth music, synthy soundtrack, and all those glorious 80s references. That game was so addicting, I kept coming back for more. It always left me wanting one more run. But alas, I was not rad, but I sure as hell had fun. Shout out to Lee Petty and everyone at Double Fine for bringing the savagery of that game <laughs> because I died so hard but I loved it. Why am I so terrible at this game? I love it so much. Scream for vengeance, yes. Come through, Judas Priest. This is because I hate to run away from a fight. Oh, son of a bitch. Beauty smacking time. It's gonna be booty smacking time in about two minutes because I'm getting my ass kicked. All right, Rad, I love you, but you don't love me back. I love this game, but it kicks my ever living ass every time. Oh my God. No! Oh, oh, it's almost like that time you did that five. Oh god. Oh my god, this game is trolling me so hard right now. Stunt Queen Award goes to me. I love Days Gone so much. I love Days Gone from the day I saw it, fell in love. I loved it so much, I actually married it. Roll the clip. I'm here. Oh, I made it just in time. I made it just in time for the wedding. I promise to be true to the MC. That's the motorcycle club. And to be a mongrel for life, I do. Oh, P.S. If you're looking for the perfect wedding gift, I'm registered at the PlayStation Store. Oh, I always cry at weddings. Savagery. Now, A Plague Tale Innocence did not pull any punches when they came out the gate with the trailer, with showing us the rats, the hive mind of the rats and the beauty and the savagery of the world that we would be playing in with Amicia and Hugo. And it was juxtaposed of the beautiful French countryside. It was just the most beautiful and brutal game. But they had some of the most savage kills this year. But don't say they didn't warn us. You knew what you signed up for. They did not hold back. Shout out to everyone at Asobo Studios, some of the nicest people on the planet. Sending you all my love and thank you for this gorgeous, savage game. Why? Why so savage right out the gate? <laughs> savage right out the gate? The savagery? Oh! Oh my god, again with the savagery! I'm not ready for this! Oh my god, the straight up savagery. Oh my god, this is horrible. This is horrible. This is horrible slash awesome. I'm sorry, father. There were many characters who we played as and loved, but there can only be one stand favorite. And that, without a doubt, is our beloved BB from Death Stranding, our pod partner BB. Without BB's coos and likes and giggles and cries, we would be all alone out there. We would never be able to survive the BTs and connect all the strands. So for that BB, we stand. Excuse me, BB. BB, this is very important. We've got a lot of BTs and I'm gonna need all of your help. Heart, she gave a heart. She gave us a heart and she smiled. Oh my God, I got the chills. And he smiled back. Oh, he smushed a kiss. the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. BB smushing a kiss. He's smushing a kiss. She, oh my God, my heart. I can't take this game, it's too much. Stunning, bitch. There was so many beautiful games this year. So many were stunning. The award for the most stunning, most gorgeous game has got to be Death Stranding. No shade to everybody else, but Death Stranding, the detail and the fidelity of the environment is so gorgeous. It just takes you there. You feel like you are actually there. And every other game was stunning this year too. Don't get me wrong, but Death Stranding has that that they have reached the level of pure stunning, pure beauty. Days Gone was right behind, don't worry. Uh, Days Gone was also stunning, but Death Stranding 
literally takes the birthday cake on this one. But the fidelity of the environment and the characters of this world, simply stunning, bitch. Stunning. This is making me tear up. This is horrible. Horrible. This game mechanic that we use in Death Stranding is the most interesting question mark. It's definitely part of the weirdest game mechanic we've ever had. We are able to recycle our bodily fluids to use as weapons. We turn off bodily fluids into killing machines. Seriously, I know we need to be more environmentally conscious, but this is too much. Too much? Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide the- mm, Nice. Ride with Norman Reedus AMC, what? And there's a Godzilla on the back. What the fuck? What in the actual fuck is this game? Hmm. It dries you off too. And we're dressed, okay. Best male performance, without a doubt, for me, goes to Sam Witwer in Days Motherfucking Gone. Deacon St. John. So take me to church. That name and that game, bitch. <laughs> he brought Deacon St. John to life and gave us life. He led us through every battle, every treacherous step on the farewell bend road until we found our way home. We love you, Deke, and we love you, Sam Whitwer. Awesome job. We salute you, Captain. It is my promise. On my heart. That I'm always gonna love you. We're gonna have to take her out, but she doesn't suffer. Hey, sweetheart, sweetheart. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Too. The crazy and hilarious and most creative gameplay for me was rad. Game by Double Fine. I played it on my channel. The innovative way that we were able to mutate and use our mutations to fight our way through the post post apocalyptic. -ness. It was so interesting and so batshit crazy, and I mean that in the best possible way. The excitement you had when you were ready to mutate, you didn't know what mutation you were gonna get. It was so random, and it kept it so interesting, and it always was super fun. So either way, no matter what mutation you got, it was so exciting to see what you were going to get, and how you could use it, and the hilarious ways that you could use these mutations to try and make your way and be rad. My favorite mutations was Death Row and Moorhead. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's a little bit of, of me. Oh my, this is the best one ever. This is the best one ever. It comes out of my butt, okay. It comes out of my butt, it comes out of my butt. It's my butt baby. Duck face, use your stomach mouth to inhale enemies and poison. Stop it. Is this like a real thing? Oh my god, this is so awesome. This game gets better the more you play it. This award goes to the most immersive video game of the year. Death Stranding. It was one of my most anticipated games of all time. I was waiting since they announced it for this game to come out and I love it. It is so immersive. You feel so drawn in to the world and the environments. Everything in the world feels alive. Making the connections with people feels so real when you meet the preppers and you bring them their deliveries and they, they help you and you help them. We could use a lot more of that in this world. I can't stop thinking about this game when I'm not playing it. It has like taken over my life. I live for it. Sam, heart man, die hard man, Amelie, mama, Fragile, Higgs, Cliff have brought us all to question the nature of our reality. You have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor. This we know we've heard beat. this dialogue before. What's your level? Wow, that's why he doesn't like to be touched. You can see them, right? 
You want it? Mm-mm. No, thank you. A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. I love that umbrella. It's such a nod. It's, he said it was a nod to Mary Poppins. Fragile's umbrella. The dynamic duo. This was a year of the most epic dynamic duos. There was so many buddies. There was so many buddy feels in gaming this year. How could I pick just one? So I didn't. Deke and Booze Man from Days Gone. Sam Porter Bridges and BB. And Amicia and Hugo. How can I choose? This way we all win. I love how he still holds her hand. Fly! Your own sister! Oh, such a slur requires punishment! <laughs> Guys, my heart. <laughs> Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself! Boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its Stop. life. No. Is she you giving him the why. finger? You too. As you say, that look BB after. is all right with me. BB Give is on our side. We get... That's what you get. Oh my god, look how cute she's running. She's looking. Oh my god, I can't take the cuteness. <laughs> the nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? Oh, what did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You're going to drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? Oh, it's getting Sophia Romania. And you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was going to drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. Oh. That's what brothers do. So, like I said, Boozer. I love this how, fucking game so much. That's how we're going out. Let's get the hell out of here. Head bitch in charge. Yes, bitch. I mean this with the utmost love and respect. This category goes out to the most ass-kicking female character in a video game that I played this year. And this one goes to Amicia from A Plague Tale Innocence. Girl was out on her own, had nothing but a rock and a satchel <laughs> and a slingshot. And that girl was fierce. She rose up out of the ashes when her life went up in flames. And not only did she survive, she thrived, bitch. She is capable, strong, smart, and not afraid of your rats or your plague, and certainly not of your inquisition. She deserves nothing but our love and respect. All hail the queen. I'm sorry, father. But did you see all their eyes pop out at once? I can't even talk, pop out, I can't even talk. That was everything, holy motherfucking drama. I love, I live. <laughs> there are some games that are still in play when we come across these awards. So I haven't finished playing Death Stranding. I am purposely taking my time playing it because I want to enjoy these games that I've waited years to play. I am not trying to rush through them. I want to take my time and I really want to enjoy them and absorb all of the goodness. I am still playing Death Stranding. I am enjoying Death Stranding. It's iconic and it deserves all the love and attention, but I have not finished playing it yet to be continued. You can't rush a good thing. Oh my God. Crazy. And you know it wouldn't be an OCD video game award ceremony without the most magical hair bitch. And that goes to Miss Amicia from A Plague Tale Innocence. That hair was everything. That quaff could not be outdone this year by anyone. So congratulations to you, Miss Amicia. Also, shout out to Hugo, who gave us pretty flowers to put in that most magical hair. <laughs> that braid was everything, girl. Now, it is no secret that I am a big-ass crybaby on this channel. I am an emotional person. I have feelings. <laughs> I may or may not get overly emotional playing video games sometimes, or watching trailers, or reacting to things. I am human. This is who I am. Some moments hit me so hard and I cannot hold back the tears. So this category is dedicated to all the games that made me cry this year. Most emotional gameplay this year for me was Red Dead Redemption 2. Arthur, 
Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. I'm not ready for this. What a game. Most terrifying gameplay. Now, without a doubt, the terror was real. The terror is still real. Guys, days gone. The hordes. How Ben Studio was able to get that many enemies on screen, all of the freakers in their glorious horrificness, and the terror was so real. This award goes to Ben Studio for making that happen, for giving me 12 heart attacks a day playing that game. The way they moved and reacted was, they could have had them all reacting like a swarm, but they were all individuals. The way they had them reacting different ways at different times, different pathways, was truly iconic. It was amazing and terrifying to be in the middle of. That is good gaming, bitch. When you are so terrified, you feel like you cannot get out of it and you are going to actually die if they get you. It was insane, most intense gameplay and Ben Studio did it. I underestimated how fucking terrifying those hordes would be. I was wrong. Oh, was I wrong. Never felt so incredibly terrified in my life playing a video game. <laughs> I had such a visceral reaction to playing it when I was stuck in the middle of the hordes, the fear and the terror was real, bitch. I literally thought I was gonna be scared to death playing that game. <laughs> ben Studio, I'm sending you my cardiologist invoice because you all gave me 12 heart attacks playing that game. <laughs> I'm, I'm running right for them. I'm running right for them. Oh my God. Oh my God, bitch, 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 bitch. Oh, no, no, no. oh my God. Run, run, Deacon. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, I'm out. Thank you very much. Bye. I'm off on my bike. Ooh. Oh, you dirty fucker. No, 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 no. No, sir. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't know where I'm going. But I gotta get the fuck up out of here. Oh my god, I'm terrified right now. No, 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 no. No, no, no! I'm trying to heal. Oh my god, you dirty bitch. Oh my god, terrified. Look at these fuckers on me. Cockroaches. Oh, bitch. Oh, my God. No! The horror. The plan has gone to shit, bitch. <laughs> Don't you fuckers ever get tired. A score from a video game. I'm sorry, but I could not pick just one for this category. I'm sorry the mu you all brought it so hard with the music this year. There's so many games that I loved and the music made those games a million times better. They just enhanced the gameplay so much and we deserve to give them all a shout out. So shout out to all the audio people in the, in the biz. We love you, we support you and we salute you. But bitch, there were two winners for this category this year because I cannot choose. Both of these soundtracks were iconic. First up, Days Gone, Nathan Whitehead and all the other artists who contributed to the music and the songs of the game made that game come to life, okay? Nathan Whitehead, when the freakers are coming on, it made you fear for your life. <laughs> and it was beautiful and haunting, and it put you right there in Bend, Oregon. You felt like you were there, out in the shit, with Deacon in the good and the bad. So we salute you, Nathan Whitehead, and all the artists who contributed their music to the to the soundtrack, it is everything. I listen to it all the time. I'm obsessed, I loved it so much. And also, A Plague Tale Innocence was so beautiful and so haunting. And um, Olivier de Rivers, I cannot say his name, please don't read me filth. Olivier de Rivers, I'm so sorry. I'm, but I'm butchering his name, please don't read me filth. I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> so Olivier from A Plague Tale Innocence, who gave us the terror of the the rats and gave us the beauty of the French countryside. It wouldn't have been the same game without that soundtrack. It was everything. It's haunting. I listened to it all the time. I loved it. What were your favorite game soundtracks from this year? Let me know in the comments. The soundtrack gives me life. I love it. What a great game. What a great fucking game. I'm obsessed.
Please don't be dead. Like guys, I if he's really gone, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to be able to handle it. No. So you know on this channel we love Naughty Dog. I love Naughty Dog. I love Naughty Dog so much and we love Uncharted. But what I do not love is the Uncharted movie shenanigans that's going on, okay? So bringing this video game to a movie has gone through so many iterations. It has gone from Mark Wahlberg playing Nathan Drake to him now being Sully. Like the only thing I approve of, not like they fucking care about my approval, but the only thing I approve of is Tom Holland playing as young Nathan Drake. It's the only way that could possibly work. But bitch, really bitch, Mark Wahlberg as Sully. Could we, what universe are we in? Even young Sully, even on Uncharted 3, when we go back in the day where they met each other. How in the hell is that possible? How is he ever going to play our beloved Sully? I don't think so. I'm not into it. And I am not, <laughs> I don't know how the fuck they're going to do it. I'm not into it. And I do not approve. Not like they care, but I do not approve. <laughs> the shenanigans that's been going on the last four, five, seven, eight, 12 years for this game forever. Girl, bye. Savage Beauty Award goes to A Plague Tale Innocence for their storybook realness. Guys, I kept that's all I kept saying when I was playing that game. This is storybook realness. Just to look around the world and just take it in and see how beautiful it was. And it was so stunning. The set pieces, the countryside, the environment, the overhead shots. Oh my god, bitch. Storybook fairy tale realness. Living for this gorgeous fairy tale Up there, realness. A windmill. First of all, stop it. Look Which how stunning tree? this looks. The apple tree Best female performance goes to our beloved Sarah in Days Gone. She helped Deke survive the apocalypse. By the power of her love alone, we saw Sarah go through the gigs. We saw her through flashbacks, so we got to know and love her. And when we were finally reunited with her, we saw how strong and smart and capable she is. And she was Deke's true partner. And I don't think she gets enough love. So Sarah girl, I know Deke loves you. But we love you more. So stupid. It was this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. She don't believe her eyes. What's happening? Oh, you. She don't believe her eyes. Okay, okay, okay relax. I can relax. <laughs> you're, you're dead. You're, you're supposed She's to freaking be dead. Out. Hey. Oh my god, I, okay. I'm freaking it's out. Right oh, oh! Wait, wait a, wait a second, I, I don't understand, I couldn't I find you. you had died and I, uh, no, we were overrun. Was and oh, I'm we so happy south. right Nero, now. Yeah, said Nero, that no, no one I found out. Ryan and I Farewell was away. overrun, they said that everybody was mountain. dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. See. journey of the Diaz brothers in Life is Strange was a long and hard road. They're on the lamb. They became outlaw wolf brothers. Their journey together as the wolf brothers was so heartwarming and I loved being a part of their journey. Wolf brothers forever. Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. That's crazy. Daniel, I want to know. I understand. I guess she left them but for it and did. we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. Mm. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? This sweet-faced, adorable angel of a child, Hugo in a plague tale. He picked Amicia pretty flowers for her hair. He was kind and sweet. But bitch, Hugo was savage. <laughs> when the time came to defeat their enemies and to defeat the very powerful Vitalis, Hugo had the power to harness the rats and used his power to take down Vitalis. But he was savage, bitch. Come on! The child is right there, right there, right there. Why aren't they going? There you go. How about that, bitch? How about that? 
for best narrative this year. I loved Days Gone and I loved the story of Days Gone and it took us on a journey on what happens, the fall of humankind and how we got there. The story was so touching and emotional to me. I love the story from Days Gone. I played so many games. I played a lot of games this year, but none of the games touched me the way that that game touched me. The story was everything. It brought Bend Oregon to life. It brought our characters to life. And I live. I live for that game and that story. I wanted to find out everything. So congratulations to you, Days Gone. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope, for a better life or for a future that matters yeah. Yeah. how are we fight where's O'Brien you know Iron Mikey uh... what about Nero I have so many questions <laughs> that, that we make the world what it is by what we do huh? what did we do huh what are we going to do See this? This is the first step. Hell yes. I meant to do that. <laughs> Guys, worst driver in a video game ever. I swear. I do not drive like that in real life. Oh my god. The terror was real. I've won this award every year. The most horrible driver in a video game ever goes to me, bitch. I don't know what it is. I don't know why I can't do it. I don't know why. I go through the gigs every time I get behind the wheel of a vehicle in this game. Well. No, I did not just do that. <laughs> well. to go and do this all over again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ha! All right, let's see. Oh my god, Arvichel. Like, it's embarrassing, guys. It's embarrassing. I'm trying to go up this hill, bitch. What am I doing? Why am I, why am I doing the most? Why am I doing the most? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, no. No, bitch. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, not only that, bitch, I'm pinged. I'm pinged, bitch. No, no! Oh my god, oh my god. Are you fucking serious, bitch? No, no, not again! No! Oh my god. Are you... Because there is a crevasse. <laughs> a fucking crevasse. The coveted Game of the Year Award. Who do you think is gonna snatch the crown? Days gone, bitch. Days motherfucking gone has snatched the Game of the Year trophy here at the OCD Game Awards. Now, I know you didn't win. This isn't the same as winning at the Game Awards. It is not prestigious, but it is for love from the community and this channel. So shout out to everyone at Ben Studio. I love this game. I fucking live for this game. I am obsessed with it. I can't wait to start playing my runs, my road to platinum on my Patreon. If you want to see the shenanigans, please join me there. And I have been there since the very first day gone. I was there with reaction videos, with painstaking theory videos, analysis videos, makeup cosplay, drag king realness, I was de- I, I transformed myself to Deacon St. John. I married it. I put on a wedding gown and married the game, bitch. I'm not playing when I tell you I love this game. <laughs> At the Days Gone booth at PlayStation Experience in 2017, I was like a kid on Christmas. I got my life. I sat on Deacon's bike. I have tried to escape the Freakers and the Rager Bear. I raced the Rager Bear at PSX. I was doing the most. You couldn't tell me nothing. I was obsessed and my hype was too much. This game could possibly live up to my hopes and dreams that I had for it, but bitch it did. It was everything and I lived for every moment of the broken road. I lived every gorgeous, horrifying, terrifying, and beautiful moment. Terror-induced scream panic attacks. Thank you to everyone at Ben Studio who worked on Days Gone. Y'all made one of the most iconic games of this generation and I hope you know how much us mongrels love and appreciate it. Mongrels for life. 
award for the best community goes out to all my friends here on the channel and on Twitter and on Instagram. You guys follow me there. You guys are so supportive. All of my friends, you are all so generous and kind and supportive. And I cannot thank you enough for being here for my shenanigans on this channel. You know, we are a little channel here. We are a, we are a tight knit community here on this channel. And I get to share all my love, all the love I have for video games with you guys. And you put up on my shenanigans. You watch the shit show that <laughs> these let's plays. I cannot thank you enough. You guys are so awesome. You guys are there with positivity, helping me when I'm going through the gigs without even knowing it. You guys are so supportive and it means the world to me. That's why I started this channel. I wanted to find in a community of my people who love video games as much as I do. So thanks for being there. Thanks for being a good friend to me and to the channel and supporting my shenanigans, tweeting, retweeting, sharing my videos. I see it all and I appreciate it so much. I want you all to know how much you mean to me. And this channel might be small, but this community is everything, bitch. I love you all. Let me know in the comments what your favorite games were this year. What was your game of the year? What was your favorite characters? I want to know everything in the comments. Let me know. And once again, I am the most grateful YouTuber. Thank you for all your love and support. I remain incredibly hopeful for this channel and this community in the next year coming up and beyond. I'm so grateful for all the love and support, especially on Patreon. You guys help keep the games coming in. So I appreciate you guys help me out on Patreon so much. On Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for being there and supporting me. I know I'm just a little, little channel, but I appreciate all the love. I cannot do this without all y'all. So thank you so, so much. When I get discouraged, you guys keep me going and I can't thank you enough. Thank you for sharing my passion for all things gaming. And I'm so thankful. I'm so looking forward to all the incredible games we're going to be playing in 2020, guys. We've got The Last of Us, hopefully Ghost of Tsushima. Hopefully we will know the release date by the time this video uploads. It's just such a amazing time to be a gamer so passionate about these games i'm so passionate about this community and this industry i love it so much we thought 2019 was epic 2020 is gonna be everything we're not ready but when has that ever stopped us bring it on thanks for your love and support i will be there in 2020 to play all the games and i hope you're there to watch and i hope you're there to join in on my shenanigans i love you guys so so much thank you to all the game devs who gave us these games who work so incredibly hard to bring us the games we love to play and that we live for. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much to every and all game devs, all the people who make the magic happen. We love you so much. And thank you to my community. Just thanks. <laughs> thanks for everything, guys. I love you guys so much. I'm ready 2020. Bring it on, bitch. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video on this channel, please give me a like and subscribe. And if you can, please consider supporting my Patreon. Every little bit helps help this girl out. Thanks for watching and I'll be back with more. Okay, boob. You gotta go back. You gotta go back, boob. <laughs> Why is one side of my hair so so nicely behaved? And then this bitch. Oi. Yeah. The lighting. Always. It won't be a video without the fucking fight over the lighting. Oops. This is the Fugazi setup that I have in this house.